in the 21st century, nobody is interested in your history. People are looking at your future. What, are you, what have you done in the future? That is now what tourism is not about history alone. It goes beyond your history. It's also add up, it now wants to know your future. It is a good move if government is able to target tourism. But what are they coming to watch? We have monkeys. Coffee, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the finance minister said, uh, or expected 2023, or expected 1.2 million visitors in terms of tourism. And you should run a very much easy cap. And we actually, a bank has to be created 150,000 jobs in our tourism sector. And you know, government is targeting tourism. Is that a good move? It is a good move if government is able to target tourism. But what are they coming to watch? We have monkeys. Coffee, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you see, what have we done to our tourism sector? People add value to our tourist centers. Ghana is a very beautiful country if we want to work. But uh, we have not added value to our tourist centers. We have not increased. Nkuruma, yes, the government has done well by building the Nkuruma Museum. That's a very beautiful thing to do that. But you see, even the only part when people come to here in Ghana and we take them to is Jamestown, is Cape Coast, to show them the slave trade and where. It is, it is not, it is, that is not the exciting part of tourism. People want to come to your country in the 21st century, nobody is interested in your history. People are looking at your future. What, are you, what have you done in the future? That is now what tourism is not about history alone. It goes beyond your history. It's also add up, it now wants to know your future. Why do you think Dubai, United Arabs, they have desert. But very few people, when you go to Dubai, have you been to that desert? Once in a while, you go and then have the desert. Once in a while. That is, but that is not the reason why you want to Dubai. The reason why you want to Dubai is their modern infrastructure development. That was what makes you, and that is where they earn the money. Even at the airport, they want you to buy homes. They want you to buy apartments. They are moving you to place homes you have never seen, building, building uh, 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 infrastructure on top of the sea. They are doing new things. But Ghana, what do we have? We have not built anything. Not even the only thing. Maybe the interchange. But what is interchange? Who looks? Who travel from abroad to come and look at interchange? We have the waterfalls. We have that is what I'm saying. We are not adding value. Okay. So it is for us to add serious value to it and make more money. Because Dubai today, they are not relying on their oil. I met the sheikh. I met the sheikh himself, and he said. We do not rely on our oil because our oil is almost finishing. So we are using our oil money to build something new that for the rest of the years, it will bring us money and generate money. So every time we are improving our, on our infrastructure and building new things. But Ghana, I don't know where in this country that I will go as a Ghanaian to go and watch. I've not seen that part. The only place is now people are going to is malls, shopping malls. Me do you hear me? Eh, shopping malls, Now tourism in Ghana. That is the shopping malls. Tourism in Ghana now. Our own children they go to shopping malls. That is the latest sh tourist, tourist centers. Ana me Coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best city. Me boa. Catch me say me boa. Oh, they go there. No. Because that is the only thing. That is where our own children will get. Oh, daddy, I want to go to more. I don't want to mention any more's name for them to have any credit. Uh, any credit. No, but I'll tell you, that is where they now go. They, they get a weekend, we are going to the mall. They go to Roma, they come out. More in other countries were built 100 years ago, 200 years ago. So, wow. Yeah, yeah, idea. It is good for the minister to say that. But you don't say it without physically and financially investing in it. Okay, 1.8 percent. See, you know, just a January, uh, February to July. See, then depreciate. Just 1.8 percent. 
Because we can succeed in our area stable. But so the economy is ready to take off. What? So. Uh, yes. So now let me let me let me come back to the issue. So. I finished with the issue of they wanting to go to the capital market to borrow money. That is the reason why. Now, when they come to the economy, we are told that when the bail bailout comes of three billion, the city will go down to six cities, at higher seven cities. The city is still at 11, 12, in between 11 to 12 cities. What it means is that it has made you and I poor against our business counterparts any part of the world. The purchasing power of our money, the value of our money, has depreciated to the extent that we are poor. Business, Ghanaian businessmen have become poor because of the value of the dollar and the depreciation of the city. Being it there it will not make us rich. We are still the same way. We are still poor. So what takeoff is he talking about? Huh? Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? There is no takeoff at that level. He should bring it down to where it was, at least, if not six cities, seven cities. And when he brings it down to seven cities, then he can tell us that. Because the, 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 the city depreciated between one to two months from six cities to 12 cities, within one or two months. It went up to 15, even to 16. It was just running like that. What did they do? Now they said gold for oil. What and what and what for oil? You see, we are borrowing too much. We are importing too much. We are consuming too much of foreign imports, uh, foreign products. We have become foreigners instead of Ghanaians. We are eating foreign food more than local food. We are wearing local dresses, uh, 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 foreign dresses more than local. Look at my shirt. Look at my shirt. Eh? Come on, come on. Okay. Locally made. Yeah. What you are wearing, yeah. locally made. Now go to the offices and see what the ministers are wearing. Suit and tie. In the hot weather like this. So we see we are importing, or, uh, or let me say, more, more foreign food to consume than our local banku, eba, konkonte. If you eat konkonte in Ghana, they call you poor man. But that is our food. It's not about the price of the food. Yourself and your stomach. But a rich man cannot go to the restaurant and ask for konkonte. When he asks for konkonte, they will laugh at him. Wow. But me, my favorite food is konkonte. Oh, okay. I, I love it with good, uh, granite soup yeah. and palm soup. Okay. But if you go, you... If you go to a restaurant and eat konkonte, and people, they will take pictures and say, Hey, Kofi TV! Yakohuno, di konkonte pa! So you see, we are not promoting our own. So we are importing a lot of foreign food that gives us foreign diseases and foreign sickness. So because of that, there is no way we can be doing all this and the city will appreciate. True green foods. Ah, if you're not purposely a memory, who makes me don't want to true green foods on Kwanzo? Say, and we are near. We hear some women do not prevent it, and you will be able to say hypertension, diabetes, cholesterol, and all sorts of metabolic diseases, say stroke, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, and then so forth. And we need true green foods. A boost to what you were so percent weight is so etika kra, and now we maintain you know, call no true green foods. Na ebe ye home and I get fed. Did you be afraid? 703 300 5039 and 703 670 3640. True green foods are pomezin kwara chum. Stop! Stop! Spend! <laughs> Hello, people. Now, Tap Tap Send is finally in New York. Oh, you thought we are not coming there. We are in your place. 
So what you have to do is to make sure you send money to Ghana. If you're in New York, families and friends in Ghana are waiting for you. Go send it. All you have to do is to put in your information, sign up on the App Store or Google Play Store, and then you tap, tap, and send. Eh? <laughs> New York, we are live and in charge. No excuse. So make sure now you use tap, tap, send to send all the money you want to send to the families in Ghana. You know what I mean? Tap tap said it's secure, it's fast, and it's convenient. Who be open day? <laughs> Did I mention my name? My name is Carlo Boss. Hmm? The only boss with what then ever. Download Tap Tap Send now on Google Play and App Store. Tap Tap Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> Hello, love. Gary, do you have mommy's parcel for her big day? The shipping company says it will take one month. A month? Ah, Gary, you rapid. Rapid? Rapid courier ships from the United States to Ghana and nine other African countries within three to five days. Log on to rapidgroup.com, buy, ship to us, and we deliver right to your doorstep. That fast? Yes, that's what I'm for. Can you sign this? I thought you only ordered mommy's parcel. No, I ordered a few car parts too. Are you too busy to shop? We will shop for you. Rapid also has a luggage delivery service so you can make that extra luggage and we will deliver at the lowest rate. Locate Rapid Courier on the Spinters Road of the Lekma Road. Rapid Courier, just shop. We deliver. Enjoy. African market and I'm Papa African market order four so blonze ha now open African market Papa Padija Makuma to Yemu dia Malata African market at Demus Runko Smoke fish meat dry fish so pekenki rice yam fufu fla ni nyania who do a free Africa Afe you want to my papa pa bo rekenti a damasi kenti a winia wudu any nyoma debri na ube nyawo malata African market Shushi ya chia kwine any a number I was screening so malata African market African market mooking kong African market and I'm Papa African market and to my Papa African market